All right, we are heading back toward the entrance to the river. Oh, hello there, in the woods. Hello. Can we help you? She's fine. <laughs> Down the black line. I do like that they have the It's handy. Colors. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, they've got random archaeological sites scattered throughout here. Uh, iguana. <laughs> With iguanas on them. <laughs> oh. River's entrance, but we're distracted by tapirs, apparently. It appears that there are tapirs in here. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's way back there. Yeah, he's a big guy. Oh, he's sleeping. All right. Living his best life. That's my spirit animal. <laughs> Pees wherever it wants to and just lays around all wow. day. Okay, I'm going to remember that. Oh, dear, what are they doing down there? Oh, look, I see people in a pink life vest on the underground river. Yeah. So apparently the river runs right by this deer pen. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty soon we'll be on the other side down there looking in from the from the river yeah, view. Yeah, that is cool. They've got these bottle filling stations all over the place. If only we had brought our bottle next time. Yep, just chilling. Good angles, good angles, deer. Did you just kiss that deer's butt? Entrada Rios. I don't know, I feel like they're going to provide everything we need down there uh, in the thing. Okay. That looks like us. Alright, so down here at section number seven, gotcha, there's a whole... I don't know about fins. I don't even know. Huh. Alrighty. Alright, we found the section, so we are getting what they call a... I guess she said it was a plus bag, but it is free. You put all your stuff in it, they give you a key, and then you can open it at the end of the river, rather than renting a locker. Or you can rent a locker if you like. And you get your life vests here as well. Ha ha! We're figuring it out. So down here at the end are the bags. All right, we've dropped our stuff back there in a secure bag, gotten it all locked up. I've got the key around my neck, and we're heading up to get life vests. The signs will guide you. Oh my gosh, look at us in them pink life vests. I match nothing. I'm the man in black with a pink vest on. Johnny Cash would not approve. Oh gosh, is that the river? Go oh, mist me on the head as I go down my river. There are birds. Well, actually, you'll probably not appreciate it. Yeah, the water is, what, 72 ish, which is a little chilly for water. Sounds good as temperature for air, but I don't know about for water. <laughs> Ooh, it's like a spooky cave. It's kind of like a testing, test river, just to make sure you're going to be okay. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it seems very refreshing. Oh, that's good. They've got little ropes on the side in case you need help pulling yourself along. Okay. Very, very cool. I'm already cold. Nah. Have a little extra warm. Yeah. We are down. It is nice and refreshing in here. Yeah, they've got a lot of opportunities to get sprayed in the head. Yep. So that's cool. Beautiful. I'm staying over here by the wall where I don't get sprayed in the head too much. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, this is a handy little rope to just kind of drag yourself along. Nice and casual like. Yes, we, once we get up here a little further, we can kind of distance a little better. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a little pen where you can look in and see the deer and whatnot. This is the best way to see a zoo <laughs> floating down the river. I'm gonna be really hungry. Yeah, we're we're earning our lunch now. I mean, I've, yeah, I'm I'm I mean you don't have to, you float, but I'm I'm paddling a little bit. It's misting on me. <laughs> Look at all this clear water. Oh yeah, natural skylight. Okay, it looks like we've reached our first of the optional exits. This is not the end of the river, but... Ah, see. Oh wow, so there are like five optional exits before you actually hit the end. Okay, but I mean, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Obviously our stuff is gonna be waiting at the end, so... Yep. Continue. Yeah, so it's 92 feet between here and the next exit. All right, we've reached the second of the optional exits. Oh, they got a cool waterfall at this one. Yeah, that was right around the corner from the first one. So now it says there is 1,312 feet until the third exit. 
<laughs> On we continue. Underwater river spin. You are in the dark. Dark underwater river spin. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's the point. <laughs> that's what a life vest does. I know. I'm used to not swimming. <laughs> I'm used to swimming on my own. Yeah, I know. You're being restricted. I'd probably be really tired if I tried this, like, just swimming. Yeah. Life vests are good for you. I know. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. That light is the third exit, so 919 feet to the fourth exit. We can do it. All right. Why? The float continues. A little bit of a traffic jam, but the float does continue. <laughs> Whoops. I keep seeing little fish over here in the water. Little tiny babies. This is like the exterior portion here. Ah, uh, well, it's not too sunny, fortunately. Ooh, it's pretty out here. Look how blue the water is. Oh, I just ran into a wall. Thank you for being quiet. Uh, thank you for being quite the massage area. That must be quite the massage area. Huh. Yeah, this is a nice area. <laughs> yeah, we'll be ready for some lunch. It's like I'm doing bicycling the whole time. Yep. There's another waterfall to hit you in the head. Ah, looks like we've got our fourth exit up here. So 623 feet past that is exit number five. Yeah, so stylish. Okay, back into the caves we go. I'll use this handy rope to propel like myself. I know, save a few bicycle kicks and use this rope. Yeah. It's nice and quiet in this portion. This is the quietest section we've had so far. No waterfalls. I think we've lost a few people along the way. Oh, uh, yeah. They've so. chosen to get out and walk to the end, probably. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> Keep it on. <laughs> no, stop that. Okay. Ow, I ran into you. <laughs> Usually when there's a light at the end of the tunnel, that means an exit. Yep, I see stairs, so this might be exit number five. Very nice. It looks like 321 feet until the end. You're on your last leg. You can do it. Oh, that is cool. It's like the payoff at the end. You get to be like underneath the cool trees. Just put that leaf fish away. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. So now we get all this to look at. Well, no, nothing hopefully to come in here and get us. I guess we'll carry on this way. We'll skip going through the actual tree, tree, tree parts. Oh, well, I guess this, that's the end up here then. Okay. I see a lot of people. It was nice. That was fun. Man, I'm sad it's over, kinda. Well, you can come back and do it again. Yeah. So we've got a fun little photo op here, or I guess you can just float right by. <laughs> I think we're in category float right by. Well, I mean, I guess it's almost over. You might as well go on an adventure. So, you know what? We're going off the path on our own tree adventure. I think this is the exit to the tree adventure, so uh, we're just going to pretend we did the tree adventure and call it done. So, whoops. All right, we've made it to our extraction point. We survived. Time to get out. So our life vest return. Well, that's handy. Then you just line up by whatever bag number you had, which is printed on your key. Ours was 1297. So, look how organized. It's really good. Yeah, I like it. Water mode is complete, so we are going to follow the black path uh, back toward the brick path, back toward what is known as food at our resort. Yes! Wow, this is some cool stuff we have to check out next time. I think this is the manatee area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll get the bat cave and the manatees and a bunch of cool stuff next time. Oh, the humanity. <gasps> oh, the humanity. <laughs> It would appear that the tapir got hungry and decided, you know, he needed to get up from his nap. Looks like a pig and a bear combination. Rude! <laughs> Leave him alone! I'm not being mean, that's what it looks like. He might pee on me, huh? That's possible. There's no signs that say that. 
Oh, you're gonna come right there. Hey, friendo. We were just remarking how funny it is. Like they have like our normal raccoons in like a zoo exhibit. Yeah. <laughs> we're walking around and there's there. This is this is their raccoon. <laughs> yep, he's on this side. Ooh, it's like we're fascinated by such hey. a common animal for them too. Oh, it's cute. Uh, pajaro is the word that I learned for bird. Made a word up for parrot. Yeah, there may be a more specific word, but I know Duolingo taught pajaro. Hola, pajaro. Pajaros. Muy bien. <laughs> so I was like, what the heck is mezcal? Apparently, it's a Brahmin cow. Yeah, you are. You're a big boy. Humpback, humpback. La vaca. <sighs> La vaca. <laughs> Ah, the flyers are getting ready to do a show back there where we just came from, where they go up the pole and swing around. We've seen it in Costa Maya. Why don't you see if we can check that out here too sometime? Yeah, they get up there and they play the flute and... Heck yeah. I know, we're on the food mission right now. Yeah, they're doing some horse riding back here. Yeah, I know they have a horse show, so I guess they just kind of like okay. get them ready. Hey man, about that lunch we promised your friend the other day. Um, yeah, running jokes. So we're gonna be back. Um, maybe we'll bring you a snack or something. Him? We're not. We're not gonna bring him a snack. You can eat, you can eat this stuff. Yeah, these okay. red things. Probably you just. Be. Oh. All right. Well, we'll see you later, buddy. Back away. Okay. Run away. So yeah, we got in about five hours here today. So far. Fun. Need water. Yeah, that's we the main thing. We were just discussing about the bottle filling station. I assume it's like purified. True. For us. Like in our room, we've been using bottled water to brush our teeth. I don't know. I've been washing my hands in the regular sink water. I don't know. Yeah, I would hope that it would be like filtered out of those bottle dispensers, but we may have to research. Occidental. Ah. All right, we are back here at the boat loading zone. Supposedly the boats run every 10 minutes, so we'll just hang out for a few minutes and see if a boat comes. If not, I guess we will walk it out, walk it out. <laughs> it's not. Well, I see a boat. Now, I don't know if this is an Occidental boat or a Hotel Chicaret boat, because they do both run boats. But I guess we'll find out. That is, in fact, the Hotel Chicaret boat. This is the Occidental boat. It's the cute little boat. I got to ride my little boat after all. Yeah. I'm excited. I said my mission in life was to ride my little boat. <laughs> it's like we could have walked, but you know. Well, the little boat is fun. <laughs> oh yeah. This is the life. It's like a like a little cruise, right? Being on a cruise. It's almost like a gondola. It's like self-power propelled gondola action. And we are back home, <laughs> quick and easy. Hey, we just saw some of you guys next door. Oh yeah, Dee always says the scientific name. What's the scientific name for these guys? Guacamole Roja. Guacamole Roja, <laughs> that's not, no. Guacamaya? That's a Guacamole. little better. They're so pretty. Yeah, we, we eventually have to check out all these little shops yeah, and things. Yeah, all the dolls with oh, face masks. I the devil with the face mask. My mom got it from Staff in Mexico. Cool, that makes it sense. Just like this. Not this big. <laughs> 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 yep. They're practicing their safety. Even the devil. Look at this beautiful, pristine blue water over here. Yeah, it's kind of quiet, but. Shoot. Anyway, we're going to veer over here to the left and go up and above the pool where we have, what is it, El Lago Snack Bar for lunch. Heck yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so similar to the assisted buffet style of the other restaurants, we've got fruits and pastries. Oh, they got a whole row of ceviches and like guacamole again. Tuna and seafood ceviche. I see vegetable cups down there. And a whole section in the back with the sort of assisted buffet thing where they will serve you on your plate. 
All right, well, we were up there at the, uh, the assisted buffet station and they sort of got overwhelmed, so Dee just came away with a burrito for now. She's got her veggies. Oh gosh, look at them mango de uh, margaritas. Yeah. Some guacamole. I got some fajitas with beef, quesadilla, burrito, some sauce the guy recommended. Some kind of little, I don't know, lettuce cup thing and a noodle salad. I know these are salads, but, and you know what? Fruit salad. Okay, I'm eating the salads. I'm a converted man. No, I think yeah. you'll need to check this though. Yeah, no. salads. Okay, there we go. D got some chips and queso <laughs> and some fajita beef. I got some chips and queso and you know some more stuff. Just we're hungry. Ah, <laughs> uh, D is excited because they have ice cream machines. Strawberry and vanilla. Ice cream cam. How long has it been since we had ice cream cam? Well, Grammys in Virginia. Oh, yeah. But anyway, ice cream cam. Actually, this is helado cam. Because it's, anyway. It's helado ice cream. Look at you making Spanish jokes. <laughs> helado ice cream. Hey again, y'all. We are all cleaned up and ready for some relaxing. We're just gonna go chill yeah. and enjoy our time here at the resort, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Cool. We're going back to Shkret. Y'all. <laughs> it's literally next door. Please. Like, Let's go back. Tell them why you want to go back to Shkret specifically. Please tell, please tell them, please. Well, we're gonna go see the nighttime. It's, it's that's at seven. Show. Please tell them why it's Shkret. not even five o'clock and we're going back. I wanna pull up that. <laughs> An ice cream bar, a freezer no, no, pop. It's the popsicle, but they make popsicle. Some, like fresh fruit and I saw them earlier. That's not why we're going. I want to go walk around. She wants a paleta. I want to go find those. And we're going to do some more stuff and then see the night show. Expect, how do you say? Expecto Patronum. Spectacular. Spectacular. Okay, that'll work. I can't talk. Anyway, we're going to go because it's like literally next door and there's so much to see and do there. Yeah, so exactly. that means um, that's where we're, we're going to miss our official dinner time. Yeah. Um, so we're going to grab some little snacky dinner later, which sadly means there's no sock of the day today. Oh, oh it's fine. <laughs> there should be sock of the day, hopefully every other we day. We won't be missing we'll any see. restaurants though because there's True. only so many and we're here a long time. Yeah, so. but I'm, it's shorts <laughs> mode tonight because we're going to eat dinner in a snack restaurant. It's supposed to be a really good one though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go do stuff. Yay! Have fun. <laughs> With us. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Have fun. Blurry walking footage cause humidity. This is gonna be a thing. Every time we leave the room, there's a certain amount of time where the footage is just blurry from humidity. Only the professional footage here. So we're following the foggy river over here down the foggy walking path. Everything's foggy. Yes. <laughs> it's just a cool visual effect. We pay a lot to have these visual effects, okay? <laughs> Only the best for you. Gosh, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I would just wipe off the lens, but I don't want to like damage it. I have some lens wipes, but <sighs> give it like five minutes and it'll be unfoggy. <laughs> just got scanned in, temperature checked, and uh, yeah. yeah, hand sanitized. Good to go. And we're almost fog free. Look at that. I've come back out to the horse area and they've got something going on with music. That's very festive. I know there's a horse show at 5.30, but it's not 5.30 yet. We'll take a little horse pre-show. Man, we've got all kinds of festive music. This is like a uh, little chapel in here. Wow. I'm gonna go check out some of this festive music though. So we've reached the end of the brick line again. Uh, yeah, we've come to the little snack shop here and back there in the freezer I see stacks and stacks of paletas. All right, we ended up with a coconut and a lime, of course. Is your paleta everything you've ever hoped for in the world? 
right. Worth coming back with. I keep putting it back in because it's human. That's true. So we found some seats actually here for the horse show, which is in half an hour or slightly less. 15 it's, minutes. Uh, okay. So we'll see what the horse show is all about. Might as well. Updates to the updates, y'all. It's getting ready to rain on us. It's thundering. Drops are hitting me in the head. Um, they got something. bit by a bug or something. But so, y'all, nature, out. nature is rude. That's all I know. So, her, she got bit on her shoulder. She's like, ah. Oh, it hurt. And then raindrops hit my head. So we're having but a we're having a traumatic experience at this park in the <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> Morning was way less traumatic than this. So I don't know. First world problem. <laughs> y'all, if y'all come to the park in the afternoon, look out. There's bugs and there's rain. All right, it's real starting to rain, so I'm gonna put y'all away because um, I didn't bring a waterproof camera. I have my raincoat. Uh, uh, all right, well, we'll see what happens. If it gets really bad, we're just gonna wander back to the. Yeah, because there's no cover on this mm -hmm. particular set of bleachers here. Bye for now. All right, hear it? Yeah, bye. Bye. Due to external causes out of our control, we won't be able to present the next show. No horses. For your attention, thank you very much. Oh, man. I understood it when it came across in Spanish, but I figured I'd record the English version because it was easier. All right, so rain means no horses. So we'll see what's up. You got your paleta. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was free to walk back over here, and it's literally, literally next door to where we're staying. So not bad. Um, we'll see if the evening show happens, you know, if we're going to do it tonight. Or, you know, we're going to be back here in like a few more days. True. So we'll see what we'll happens. See. Oops, okay. okay. Oh my gosh, bye for now, y'all. This is traumatic, y'all. <laughs> all right, D is all prepared for the rain. Oh wait, one, more, one more accessory. There you go. Wow, that is, oh yeah. I was a Girl Scout. Uh, that's not that motto, but Yeah, know. all right, well they just told us that they've officially opened up seating for the night show just because it's raining on everyone, so we're gonna wander that way. I'm gonna put y'all away because um, it's still wet out here. Ah, they did get the torches lit up. Kinda got the waterfall blue. We made it. All right, we made it into the theater. We are here. We have like an hour and a half to sit here and wait, but you know what? That's all right. We're inside and there's nice padded seats. True. I hear it's a good show, so we'll like wait for it. People in. Maybe more people in the show than in the theater. Maybe not. No. All right, we're here. Phew. <laughs> Update. Update. All right, looks like they're bringing part of the show inside to us here as a pre-show. So that's cool. Maybe they will be in here. Maybe. So it's six o'clock now. So we have an hour to go till the actual show. I didn't know there was an intermission. I did. <laughs> oh, all right. Cool show so far. Yeah, no, it's really good. It reminds me a lot of like the opening ceremony of the Olympics where you learn about um, the country's history and cultures and what, we, what it was. So really cool. A uh, tip already that I have is to sit high. Yeah. There's a lot of visuals that happen on the floor that... We're missing not, a lot of them. I mean, it's still really good. They have a TV up there. more if you were higher up. So if you're going to come try and sit the highest up, you can. Probably. Like I said, there is a TV up there. They have cameras where they're showing some of the things, but... That's cool. Yeah. So, fireball. There's some really cool games. Now the Spanish are here, and stuff is happening. <laughs> More to come. Nice. All right. Update. Good job. Hey, we get to see the flyer show after all as part of this show. <laughs> cool.
to the end of the show. That was cool. I like the second half was like going through the different regions and yeah. music and culture of all that. We're outside, but we're coming up on some people, so we've got to mask yeah. back up. Anyway, good show. That was really awesome. I recommend it highly, especially yeah. you know, since it's included in your ticket price. That's true. Making our nightly walk back along the river. So we're heading up to Tacos, Tacos, and La Piazza. There is Hacienda where we had our first dinner, and there is Paco's Tacos. I'm not sure exactly where the pizzeria is, but okay, around the corner. All right, so the tacos here, you normally pick one flavor and you get three of the same taco, but we asked if we could have a mixed plate, and he said yes, so we got one of four different tacos. We got shrimp, chicken, a beef, and a pork, or a beef and a pork, whichever one's beef, whichever one's pork, and all sorts of sauces to put on them. He said this one is the spicy one, so watch out. I don't know. I'm ready for some taco goodness, but yeah. All right, Joe. We like the tacos so much, we're ordering some more. He is getting three Al Pastor tacos. Like, he's big. Oh yeah, but and I'm. Corn tortillas are good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I order shrimp tacos because I know she wants some shrimp, so I'm gonna share some shrimp with her. Uh, when the gentleman told me that that spicy sauce was uh, spicy, it's the truth. It's real spicy. You did not try it. He did not listen. I told him. Um, I tried it a couple of times. It's spicy. It burned your lip, but burned your tongue, burned your throat. It hits you in all the places and all at once. I offered him water. He said, no, I'm a man. I'm a spicy man. I can handle it. Spicy man don't need water. Spicy man. Spicy men should listen to spicy woman. You didn't eat the sauce. You're not a spicy woman. You're spicy. Why is the camera focused on those people behind me? Caliente. Caliente. You're caliente. The spicy is picante. <laughs> okay, bye. We're going to eat some tacos. <laughs> That's it. Updates. Spicy updates. Why camera? All right, you're going to focus on my face right now. Right now. There it is. Bye. And Here we go. Grilled onions. <laughs> Al pastor <laughs> with pork and pineapple. Shrimp with, oh yeah, grilled onions. All right. We eating some we more tacos. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't have these. They didn't have pineapple the first time we had it. Anyway. Yeah, they've got the saxophone player happening there in the, uh, I guess, the theater. Uh, D is boogieing to some, you know, tunes. Oh, all right. <laughs> We're going to bed. <laughs> eh. We'll have a little dark stroll back over to our building. We get lost at night sometimes, but I think we've figured this thing out. in the room tacoed up and ready to go to bed that was a lot we're both full now we mm -hmm. had seven tacos a piece they're little they're Keep little but it's siete tacos mm -hmm. uh yeah but it's bedtime it's 10 o'clock i mean you know we're party animals one night we swear we're gonna get to the little nightclub thing yeah maybe, maybe we'll. And there's like a show in the lobby. We got so much to do, y'all. We still have a lot of time, too. We do. Just we do. Shkaret took it out of us because we like paddled for, I don't know, 100 miles. And paletas. We had to go back for the paletas. <laughs> they were pretty good. Anyway. Not necessarily like my favorite thing, but it was good. Uh, we're going to bed now. So yeah. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We got a nice calm day planned for tomorrow. Yes. And we'll see y'all then. So come on back now, you yeah. Come join us. All right. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta mañana. That. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>